Greetings, greetings, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is week three of March, although it is Friday. Um, the week is not up yet. Peace, queen. So this week, we're going to be focusing on motivating mentors. So this is our um, um, third, three out of four part of our movement for March, My Money Matters. So the first week we talked about our mindset of how um, we need to uh, reevaluate our mindset around money and making money. Um, last week was about the morals uh, or the rules of money. And this week we're going to be focusing on motivated mentors. Okay, so uh, Queen, do you have any mentors? you all have any mentors? What are some characteristics you would like um, about your mentor, what you find in your mentor. Okay. All right. So I have several um, mentors and when I looked at all of them um, and you know what qualities they all share, I saw a reoccurring thing. So I want to share some of those principles all right so all right so i am a person you don't have any oh well hopefully this inspires you to seek some out okay so i like etymology so etymology is the study or the origin of words and where they come from so when it comes to a mentor i looked it up and so a mentor is a wise advisor so it is um, anybody who is a wise advisor and um, I, I have intimate friend okay and so I like the intimate friend aspect of it because in order for somebody to like really be a mentor and make a, a long lasting impact on your life um, at some point even if initially you all don't start off as, with an intimate friendship at some point it develops into that okay and so this wise advisor they uh, usually you want to so if you're a person that doesn't have a mentor um, you know you want to think about where you are in your life and what areas um, are there people who are doing what you want to do right so who has experience doing that thing that you want to do who has been there done it um, okay so whatever you are ex in experience in that you are trying to pursue you should have a mentor so that's what I have Okay, and so, so one who thinks a good mentor, so you want to have a mentor who inspires you, right? Um, of course, that's the purpose of a, a mentor, right? Um, you don't want them, you, you don't want them to just inspire you to think. You want them to inspire you to think differently than what you thought at first, right? Um, as... If most of you all grew up with the education that I did, um, it's a lot of things that we have to unlearn in order to re to relearn. Okay, yes, you had mentors, um, no longer in alignment, and so you are manifesting them now. Yes, you are. You know, sometimes we get into like a, a stagnant or a stuck place, and I think that just comes with the rhythms, the ebb and flows of life. Sometimes we up highly productive. And sometimes, you know, we just don't feel like doing anything. And I have gotten there before. Okay, so again, we want to find mentors who not just inspire us to think, but challenge us, challenges us to think differently than what we thought of before, right? And so this goes into the whole shifting of mindsets. Okay, I also looked up motivator, the etymology of a motivator. So, um, again, this series is motivating mentors. Okay. And so a motivator is someone who tries to initiate or stimulates an action or behavior. So that's a lot, right? So a mentor is, okay. It's not just somebody who you just sit and watch and you're like, Ooh, you know, that's nice. A mentor, a motivator is actually somebody who inspires you to uh, ignite to take action to initiate to go out and do something right based off of whatever information they just share with you something initiated 
um, or stimulated action, right? And so the action doesn't always have to be um, an action. It can be a behavior. And so if I give an example of this, before me tapping, so, you know, uh, Queen, we both from the same um, community, which is Sacred Woman, um, the Sacred Woman womb, womb tribe, right? With Queen of Fuwa, we had Queen Esther. So these were some of our mentors at the time. They challenged us to think differently. They stimulated our, our actions and our behaviors, um, right? And so, like you too, Queen, I got away from my, my mentors. I wasn't in alignment, but as somehow something shifted. And I promise I have been in the right place at the right time since then and so since i've tapped back then in january one of the things that my mentors have stimulated um, me to do is to think so thinking is a behavior i have i've been thinking differently like if you could peer inside a person's mind you know how they give you like the cartoons they show you you know all the little areas in your mind and what you're thinking of like the things i used to think about and the things that consume my mind now like i literally feel unproductive if too much time goes by and i'm not listening to something that's inspired me to take some action i feel so unproductive right they might encourage you they might give you um, they might give you some resources that stimulate you to take action or um, behaviors. Uh, it might be some money sources or resources, or they might even be just the building of your character. Okay, um, so these are some actions um, and behaviors that they could, you know, stimulate us to do. Right. So what they can also stimulate what you do with your time now right they can also stimulate you to take actions to being more successful to get more gains and wins okay so this is the etymology of a motivator okay and so when i looked up motivator they had two synonyms and so one of them um so they have positive motivating or influence so incentive was one of the synonyms of a motivator. So an incentive can act the same as a motivator. So an incentive is that which moves the mind or stirs the passion, right? So we want to have, uh, we want to find people that can move our minds, right? From wherever we are to where we're trying to get, right? I saw a quote that says, the only difference between where, okay, my apologies. Um, so the only difference between here, where you are here, and where you're trying to get there is the T, right? It's only your T that changes here and there, right? And the T stands for time, right? But this positive uh, motivating mentor, right, gives you incentives which, which, which moves your minds, it stirs up your mindset, and it stirs up your passion, right? Um, and that's what usually propels us to take action is because um, they stirred up the passion inside of us. And now we're ready to take action. Now we're ready to change our behaviors, right? Okay, so in case I'm so glad that you don't have a, a mentor because I wrote down some things. So when you're looking for a mentor, what are some things that you should consider? Okay, and I wrote... Um, I have about three things. I didn't finish taking my notes. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, they always say, sorry. So sometimes, you know, they say, you know, if you fail to plan, if you say, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Well, sometimes you can still have a plan and things don't go right. Right. Um, so I planned to do this recording earlier in the week. I even planned on waking up last night in the middle of the night to do the recording. However, I am here. Um, so if I find some more things to add for when you're looking for a mentor, I'll put them. Okay. Um, so 
is your mentor spiritual right i was gonna say like close with god but people use that term loosely so is your mentor spiritual right that's like one of the top things you want to put on your checklist right you want somebody so in week two last week we talked about the morals of money and you know i don't agree with money is the root of all evil i talked about if you were evil before you got money then you're probably gonna be evil when you get the money if you were a good person before the money you're probably gonna be a good person afterwards right it's some in between but for the most part so does this person who motivates you i give thanks for you too queen does this person do they consult god or a higher power on a regular basis do they incorporate god in the things that they do and so um what drew me into the experience that I, my trading academy right now is i heard about it before but it was one thing that got me and it's like you know people be using god just for whatever but it, it was a statement about god that 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 that, that woke me up and so she was like you know this is a we were talking about cryptocurrency we were talking about like you know this is a this is an opportunity that some people have never seen and, and she was like you know some people you have prayed for your millions you're right you pray to be, be a millionaire you pray for this but if you prayed for it you got to be willing to pay for it and it's like that thing slapped me in the head i'm like what and i feel you if, if you ain't willing to pay for it and you know you if you're not willing to put your own natural energy yield towards obtaining that thing then you really didn't want it and that just moved me and once i joined the community they open up every call with prayer we have morning affirmations like and so a higher power is consulted there is a there is god there so yes check they incorporate God and consult God, and, and God is a higher um, guiding force in their life. So, yes. Okay. And again, this ties into the morality of money from week two. The second question I have is, what are some of their daily routines or practices that they do to enrich their lives? Okay. If you're, if the person doesn't really have some things that they do daily, um, more than likely, they, they're not going to be a good motivating mentor in the end, okay? And the reason why I say this is because what we make it, what we do on a regular, we make a habit of it, okay? So you want to, if you, if you are choosing this person to be your mentor and to motivate you, then there are things that they have made a habit out of doing that um contributed to their success okay and you want to make sure that you know what it is okay another thing that brought this to my light is on clubhouse i don't know if you all um have been on clubhouse if not uh let me know i have some invites i can give but on clubhouse it's so many millionaires and wealthy people on there and they all have a process for starting their day they are all highly spiritual and they do not they don't they don't touch their phone they don't get out the bed they don't do anything until they have for one woke up and thank god did affirmations right first they work on their mindset right and they get their body right like it is a proven it is it, there are a list of things that this person does to enrich their life and you need to find out so um and i realized how important this was from being on clubhouse some of the questions that people were asked were well can you ex uh, um, explain some of your morning routines and nine times out of ten they all said the same thing i wake up i give thanks i say everything i'm grateful for i say my affirmations i affirm myself i um i start working out i want to feel good i'm gonna look good right and then they move on to their business okay Okay, and then this is the last question that I have. I'm sure there are many other ones for um, trying to get a mentor, um, but this is the last one for the sake of this video. Does your mentor pour into their community? And if so, how? 
right? And so some of the examples I have are mastermind, accountability, affirmation. So does your mentor pour into their community, right? Is, is your mentor... Okay. The reason why I say this is because another one of... One of my teachers says once he started learning how to do something that brought him money, he didn't really want to share it with people. And it wasn't until he was sitting in front of his mentor and the mentor said that which you are sh that that you don't want to share basically it's something like because you choose not to share it you you choose to end up losing it right and i guess it made him think he didn't want to lose his wealth so he started sharing it with his communities okay and so your mentor doesn't pour into the community because it benefits their pockets, okay? They pour into the community because, one, they they consult and incorporate God, okay? <laughs> Two, um, they know that they, they aren't much without their community, right? The community um, is the people that do depend on them, the people who they commit to motivating um, and things like that. So, in my um, aspect, so one of my doc, one of my mentors is um, Dr. China, China Bethley. She is the songwriter of Bitcoin Mommy. She wrote the book Bitcoin Baby, and she has done a lot to bring um, financial freedom and access to financial freedom to many communities over the 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 u.s even abroad okay she's global so what does she do to pour into her community what does she do what does she have right so with so first of all she made a community rich university that is our community um and in it right so what does our day look like of our mentor um pouring into us right so we start off we have our morning affirmation calls so to start off your day, they want us to start off in gratitude. You come here, you do your affirmations, we'll do them together. All right, boom. Next, we have accountability classes, right? What are your goals? Like we should, we have three things that we're supposed to do each day. And we come and we say whether we did them or we didn't. You either did them or you didn't. You did them or you didn't, right? And you can lie, but you're only lying to yourself. Okay, after that, we have... Um, business planning calls, right? No one's paying her to do this. No one's paying um, uh, um, her business partners to do this. But after that, we meet, we business plan, we go over some things that's going to help us be successful, and they send us about our day, right? And in the afternoon, in the evening, we have the opportunity to... Um, Come together and practice um, our speaking. Um, practice our speaking. Just practice, you know, whatever skills that we need to work on. And in addition to this, um, around the clock, we have, you know, access to our community where we can plug in with anybody um, and utilize them for their skills. Okay. Um, Right, and so again, there's just so much that my mentor is doing. I'm glad I chose a great mentor. Um, some other mentors in my life are my parents. Uh, yes, they do consult um, God. They do have uh, daily routines and practices that enrich their lives, and they uh, they pour into their children. We are their community right and so i will end up tagging the rest of my mentors here everybody that is a motivating mentor okay if you see this i ask that you tag your mentors here as well tag someone anyone who you um know could probably benefit from a mentor right and I will see you all next time. So next week, the last week of March, is going to be on money. Okay, so we're going to talk about why your money matters. So we get down to nitty-gritty money, 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 multiple streams of income, why our money matters. Okay, so thank you for visiting. Make sure you go visit the website.
mymoneymatters.coach okay we have some things coming up soon i'm so excited to share about to share with you all okay so have a great day be blessed and remember my money matters and yours should too